What's up everyone, it's Bran here from Bloody Breakdown and today we've got some long-awaited Scream news. Now before anyone gets excited out there, no, Jason Blum hasn't purchased the movie rights to create a Scream 5 or a reboot over at Blumhouse. No, that's not what's going to be happening, unfortunately. But, after three and a half years, we do actually have some news on Scream Season 3. But before we do that, let's go ahead and scrap any notion of Scream Season 3 as we originally thought it. Um, now, this story is coming to uh, me courtesy of Bloody Disgusting. So I have a couple of things. I'm just finding out about this. I'm going to read off the article uh, just to make things clear. Uh, but before I get into it, basically what is happening is the uh, third season of Scream that was filmed uh, with Tyga and apparently uh, Michael Jackson's daughter, I believe is who that is, um, Paris. Uh, and, and a litany of other people, including, I believe, Mary J. Blige. Uh, it was a six-episode season. And instead of this airing on MTV, as it was originally supposed to, it's going to be airing on VH1, which I didn't know was still a channel. Um, and this is going to be happening starting on Monday, July 8th. Now, what's going to happen is they are going to play two hours, essentially what would have been two episodes, every night, on the 8th, 9th, and 10th, that's a Monday, Tuesday, and a Wednesday. So in total, that will be the entire season. Uh, so basically, it's turned into almost like a made-for-TV movie, so to speak. Kind of reminiscent of the 1990 It, almost. Um, calling it a three-night event. And it's been titled Scream Resurrection. Um, and as I think most of us knew, it's uh, being produced by Queen Latifah. Um, and I'm trying to see if there's anything else I haven't really gone over as far as what's coming from the article. Uh, yeah, big news here is we already heard it, but it's finally going to come to fruition. We're finally going to see it, and that's Roger Jackson uh, doing the voice of Ghostface one more time, uh, reintroducing the actual Ghostface mask, um, and not just reintroducing it into the franchise, but introducing it for the first time on television. So I think that's pretty interesting as well. Um, other than that, that about sums up where we are. So, me personally, uh, I did watch the trailer because there is indeed a trailer for this that was just dropped. Um, the trailer feels very fan-made. Uh, I think that if there, if, if it wasn't for me seeing people that I, uh, knew were celebrities, big name celebrities in this, uh, which there's not a whole lot, but there are a handful. Um, then if, if it wasn't for that, I would honestly feel like this is something fan-made. And that's not always bad. I've seen some really good fan-made stuff. And I think this would rank up there with some really good-looking fan-made stuff. Um, but uh, it's, it's a little strange-looking. Um, I will say, hearing Roger Jackson do the ghost face voice, seeing the original mask back, and seeing how they're going to try to pull it off on uh, VH1 is so, sort of a made-for-TV movie, like a three-night event type thing. I'm intrigued by it. Uh, I, I knew from the beginning, once I heard about what the season was going to be about, I didn't think it was going to be extremely uh, fantastic. But at this point, as a huge fan of the Scream franchise, I'm just begging for more content. So I'm going to give it a shot uh, starting July the 8th, and that's, like, what, next week? Um... So yeah, coming soon. Um, that's going to be really awesome, actually. So I'm going to check it out. Um, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about all this? This is uh, a combination of old news colliding with new news to create new news, I suppose. So what do you all think? Let me know down in the comment section below about VH1's Scream Resurrection. Um, I know it's not the big news I think we all want to hear. Um, it's, I, I know I do, which is... Blumhouse to produce Scream 5 um, because I think it'd be a difficult movie to remake uh, in a lot of aspects. But that's what we're getting so far. For us Scream fans, it's more content. Um, I, I think that a lot of people have their own opinions on the first and second season of Scream uh, on MTV. I personally thought it was way better than I had any expectations for considering it was an MTV show. Uh, so uh, let's not get our expectations too high based on this trailer. 
but maybe try to sit back and enjoy it for what it is. Hopefully there's something to enjoy. Uh, I'm remaining optimistic. And uh, yeah, so like I said, let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. If you're new here, subscribe. If you never want to miss a uh, bloody breakdown, go live or upload, simply hit that notification bell right next to the subscription box. And also in the description section, you will see a litany of links to follow, friend, like, and share everything we do all over social media. We have a Facebook group, an Instagram, and a Twitter page. And you'll also find some links where you can support what it is we do here at Bloody Breakdown. And to tell you more about that is pre-recorded me. If you enjoy my content and want to support Bloody Breakdown, here are a few ways you can do so. Become a patron of the channel at the Patreon link below. You can make a one-time or a monthly contribution. Simply select a tier of one, five, or ten dollars and unlock the perks that come with your tier of choice. Perks range from early access of videos to your name in the credits listed as a producer. Check out our Amazon wish list with tech items that could go a long way in improving the overall quality of the channel and the podcast. Install Honey. Honey is a free web browser extension that automatically finds and applies coupon codes at checkout for over 30,000 shopping sites, saving you money and coupon searching time. It only takes two clicks to install, and using my link in the description section below helps to support Bloody Breakdown. Jeez, that guy's really phoning it in these days. Badoons. Lame joke to end the video. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Like I said, uh, yeah, all the links are down below. Thank you for joining me. And now it's your turn to sound off down below. I'm Bram from Bloody Breakdown. We'll catch you next time.